Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. I hope you're doing amazing. You're staying very healthy and happy. So today I bring to you something very very new and interesting. That is NTSC tips and tricks. So basically, we'll be talking about how to manage your boats and NTSC together. I'll be telling you five important tips which you can follow and score good in both NTSC and boats. Right, everyone. So first of all, let's have a look at the benefits of NTSC. If you give this exam, what benefits do you get? Now, number one point that studying for both boards and NTSC separately is not required. It is not at all required. What did I say? That you do not have to study something else for NTSC and something else for board because. Both NTSC stage 1 and term 1 boards are MCQ based. So basically you will be just getting multiple choice questions to study. Right? So you don't have to worry about subjective. Just MCQs are there. Okay? Now let's have some smart tips. I'll be discussing some smart tips for you. So that you can succeed in both the examinations. Okay. Now tip number 1. Know the syllabus of term 1 boards and NTSC. The syllabus is definitely different of both term 1 boards and NTSC. Because NTSC covers your complete 9th and 10th syllabus of math, social science and science along with mental ability. Whereas term 1 board exams are having a rationalized syllabus and only specific topics are there. So you have to study a lot for NTSC. Right? Now. Know the NTSC exam pattern. What is the pattern of NTSC? In NTSC, there are two um, examinations basically. Number one, MAT. Number two, SAT. MAT is your mental ability test. That is scholastic aptitude test. So in MAT, what happens? Only mental ability and logical reasoning is asked. Whereas in SAT, you have social science. As you are able to see over here. Just a second. Over here you have social science, maths and science, everything. Here you just have aptitude. This is the difference. Number of questions you are able to see, 100, marks are 100. Here number of questions, 40, 40, 20, 20, science 40, 40. So basically from science and social science you have 40, 40 questions. From maths 20 and math 100. Okay. Now, know the CBSE term 1 exam pattern. The exam pattern of boards. That is general mcqs case based assertion reasoning three types are there in ntsc you get general and assertion reasoning you do not have case based but no worries right everybody i hope you are clear with the pattern and everything okay now syllabus of ntsc and boards is based on ncert because ntsc is conducted by none other than your ncert which makes the books of cbsc okay the books for CBSC. The book, your Bible will be NCERT only. The syllabus is NCERT based only of your 9th and 10th. Remember this of 9th and 10th. Clear? Clear everybody? And last, practice more and more PYQs, the previous year questions of NTSC. Why did I say that? Because when you practice PYQs, you get the level of examination the difficulty level the types of questions the types of questions that you get and the tips once you know the types of questions then you can watch more and more tips while you videos to clarify the concepts okay and the last a motivation be motivated and say i can and i will watch me it means you can crack it and you will crack it. Okay, everybody. Do not take any kind of stress. And everything is going to be good. So let us summarize what we discussed. Practice more BYQs as I told you from different states of different states. Although difficulty level is difficult. So you may practice of your state only. That will suffice. Okay. Syllabus of NCRT we talked about. Pattern. NTSA pattern. And syllabus and boards. In this way, you can easily manage NTESC, NTSC and boards together. And if you want a timetable video from me, please let me know in the comments if you want a timetable video. 
I want your responses in the comments. Everyone. If you want a timetable. Clear everyone and now let us say goodbye. Bye bye. Take care.